And hey everyone, welcome back to Man of Lords. It's part two of our series, and we are here with the mighty Sir Jellybean, our Lord. And we're here where we left off. We're obviously still upgrading. Our main goal in this one is to get some more burger plots and to go to level three. Now, if we need to get to level three, we do need to get a tavern with ale supply. We also need to improve our church and get clothing store with something like shoes, clothes, or cloaks. So we do need to spark probably trading and getting stuff like that. We've got a little bit of money coming in. We'll start making more once we start selling stuff now. We're all a bit, but the only resource we really have, well, is food. We don't have much iron or clay. The next strategy would be to go here with the massive iron deposits. Very valuable. But there's also brigades there. There's also up here, which also has huge iron ore deposits. That actually has even more. Wow, so that would be a fantastic piece of territory to take. There's brigades in basically all these territories. So we need to be a little bit careful. We'll have to build force up before that. We're very far away from that anyway. So, we also have the workers camp. We have the tannery making hides. We must have tons of hides. We might actually, that might be the one thing we probably have leather for trading. So we might be able to build a trade outpost. I think we've got everything built that we're supposed to be building. Forest is sort of slowly growing trees back, which is a good call. Yeah, I think we have the saplings being regrown, which is cool. There we have the manor itself. Uh, you can actually increase taxes and stuff as well. You can have land tax on people collected from. Well, predicted approval loss minus six. Well, what we're at. I think we're. Mm, it's quite high approval. It gets us some tax. And you can also give. Percentage of surplus food is giving to the church in return for influence. How much surplus food do we actually have? We have quite a lot of surplus. I'm not giving any food to the church yet, just because that, that could be a death spiral. 10% land tax, 20%. Let's go for 10% land tax. That's a little bit pricey, but people can start paying us money. Harsh but fair. And we do have a bit of clay and stuff, I believe. Um, yeah, we've got some clay. Is it still being mined? Um, yeah, 33. There's not much left. We also have trade points. Could go over there. The iron mine could get put out as well. I think we need to get a trading book. Tanned, the tanned hide is what we can probably make decent money on. So suppose, supposedly you get a bonus if you put it really close to the edge. Not sure if that's true. But let's just um it there, shall we? <clears throat> we also have obviously had the oxen and stuff. In the stables, which is cool. There they are. Can we? Can you trade? Like, put, take this oxen. And Nate can go. Oh, I thought you can we? Can you like actually move that oxen somewhere else? No. Well, we'll keep both the stables there now for anyway, because we will probably eventually get more people in to the to the village and stuff. Level three is a massive upgrade. It allows adds extra living space for one extra family. Two families with lots of living space. Res residential requirements will increase. There's some other things that you can do with that when you build your houses. A bandit camp site edge. Where? Oh, it's really far away. The other lords are claiming territory. We haven't got nearly enough stuff to claim anything. We're still pretty mediocre. Mediocre. Um, they're going to start building this. What's this? Work area is empty. Workers can't find anything together with the work area, at least for now. Origins hook, right, take him off that. Uh, yeah, you have them on construction. Oh, they're still building clay furnace. Ah, I forgot we were building that. Right, well, let's get them working. Yeah, I'm loving Manor Lords. It's just, just fun. It's, I just like how the buildings as well. Look at that. How they build the buildings over time. It's really good how that's been done. The clay furnace to start making roofing tiles, I believe. I think we've got so we're okay on food, we're okay on timber, planks, bit of stone, got some tools, firewood, um, leather, clay. We can start training stuff, got some herbs as well. Food wise, rich deposit. It's supposed to start look stop hunting when it reaches less than ten. Maybe some have been killed by accident. We also have iron ore deposit over there. We could build a house really near the trading depot. I mean, it's not going to be very happy, so maybe it's just best to keep houses over here together. Clay is going to get diminished pretty soon. It's not It's not a deep, it's not a rich vein, unfortunately. Well, we could have built a depot there, I guess. Uh, we are connected to the main road, which is good, so we can do trade. I'm trying to think. There's not that much resources available to us here. Is there... One sec, is the farming, is there any... So, 
I'm trying to see if there's any fertility for anything. This is there's rye fertility. Barley. So we can what's rye used for? I don't really know. It normally tells you in the industry tab what you can turn something into. Um barley into malt. There is so um let's have a look on the help because i have no clue resources you might have under rye it'll be down here I believe. right storage type entry but what's it what's it for <laughs> what's it for man i don't know but maybe we can start planting some rye i'm sure someone knows what it's for that's for farming i think we're gonna have to just focus on industry how many are the tannin is the tannin tannery nothing stored inside? Actually, so we don't eat, we're not we're not even got enough really hunting to keep the tannery that busy. We might as well get a small mine placed on the iron ore, on the iron place. And for road wise we can we just connect it like that. There we go. Lovely. It's being produced. I think we're going to start doing it. We're in Jan, so we're not even survived the first year, but we're getting there. Got tons of food, though. Surplus goods. Let's just look at surplus, I guess, because then we know exactly what we can. Yeah, and what we can afford. Yeah, enough supplies for about 12 months, which is fantastic. Got tons of fire, tons of food, and tons of firewood. Is alright. The nursery company is available. We're okay for now. Hopefully, they're starting to build that a bit. The new start. The new family start moving in a little bit. So I think if we look on tab, uh, there's still a couple of houses with nothing in. I've heard there's some glitches. If you demolish houses, people won't move in. But I think we're okay. Oh, large increased pantry. I think we're okay for now. We don't have much stone here. We do need to eventually take another territory. I think this is going to be key with the iron ore deposits. Also, this has 200 stone clay. Mm. Decent mile. What's this got? It's got iron, a bit of clay, quite a bit of clay. Nice chunk of stone, wild animals, brigade, berries. I do like how the map's kind of quite fluid. It's very cool to me how they've done this. It's very interesting, I personally think. Just checking the recordings, recording all right. But yeah, we're, we've got three people on construction. Logging camp's doing quite well. Disease sowing trees. Should be. Waiting. Praying. I guess you can't really sow trees in the um, winter. It's not really a settlement for farming though, which is fine. We could have more logging, I guess, really, couldn't we? We could um that's um it's got another person on tree selling. Or it's just one. Works plant new trees in the specified zones, right? Let's put Plant trees. So will they start planting? Waiting. Maybe they can't plant because it's winter. Yeah, maybe that's it. Are these still working? Yeah. Well, I'll just leave one in there for now. One of you can go on the oxen to help. Logistics. I should be building this slowly. It's a bit out of the way, but I'm sure it'll be fine. It's taking a while to build completely. It's taking ages, to be fair. The oxen should be on the way to construct it. And they're going back and forth. I think it's lugging the the stuff there back and forth all the time. It takes a bit of time to get things built, but that's okay. Clay's almost fully mined out anyway. <coughs> Sorry, my voice is going. <laughs> yeah, mining pits under construction. Some of these. Whoa, why did that happen? That was weird. Just shut me out. This is annoying. Steam, even if I tell it not to send these things, it does and it gets in the way of the timer. So, yeah, we're on the waiting game here. Um, saving finished. It's just a nice little auto save. I think we're coming to build it anyway. Let's get that trading depot. We do have hides that can be. Oh, sons of bitches stole leather. How do you stop bandits from stealing stuff apart from killing them? Like, there must be a way to get security up or something. There's gotta be a way. 
got to be done. I would like to buy some more oxen as well. Just, right, mining pits exhausted. Which means... Take you off. Knowledge. Yep. One more family for building. And we can get this, you know, hopefully we'll get this done soon. Taking the sweet ass time. Same with this. Excuse me. New message, right. We received reports of bandit raiders roaming the nearby land. Should we track their steps? Prepare for an attack. 365 days. Yep, track them. Okay, we'll have to get that train depot up and start getting some resources, I think. The mercenaries available. We haven't got much money, though, for them. So people are moving in. We need to start building a few more houses, then. Um, residential. What we could actually do is, there's obviously going to need people living near the trading depot. There's going to be one person need to live here, isn't there? For sure. So, maybe if we just build a small plot. Oh, no. That's a horrible, horrible building. Come from the squeeze one in there, maybe? No, that's awful. <laughs> oh, yeah, if we do it that way, maybe. Yeah, it's a bit, bit tight. Oh, oh no. Let me spin. Let me spin. Come on, bit. Residential. Um, put it there. Make it like that. There we go. Cool. What we could do is actually is move one of these stables, relocate, kind of. Um, actually, don't don't relocate it. So the oxen can still move around and get stuff done. Oh, no, it's, the roof it's very snowy. Oh, they have no in, in the church. Oh, he's a grave digger. Don't really need a grave digger, do we? Oh, have we got roof tiles to upgrade. Oh, small stone church. Yeah, do it, do it. Sure. That's gonna be a big upgrade, a big win. And that'll um we won't be able to get to level three on there because we haven't got a tavern, but that'll help the church level. Taxation is making them unhappy. Fair enough. Well, we could probably get rid of taxation for a little bit, but we do need some coin coming in. Is taxation getting that? Yeah, probably. We need money to buy weapons to get over it. Policies available. Policies. Oh! Oh, they're a lot. So, sit, citizens skip every fifth meal. No, that sucks. Oh, this one. Wild animals on rich deposits breed twice fast. Cost 50% of your... Yeah, yeah, we'll do that. Policies signed. I don't know if you can... We'll sign it. The reason I want that, we're not we're not farming anyway. So this is massive for the hunting. This will be great for us. The berries should start to regrow. Has that been built yet? Jesus Christ, the um, construction's really slow lately. Probably because of the distance to stuff. Can we just get this? This is highest priority. Like, get it done, please. You should be building your asses off, gentlemen, ladies and gents. But Got the house. Get that bloody trading post built, you idiots. Goods, generic store, what? Storage? Oh, it's because we destroyed, yeah, that, it's fine. We've got people working the backsides off. Let's get it done, let's get it done. Tannery should be getting some hide soon, I think. Another bit of clay left, not too much. One trading depot. So this is where games like this start to be like, what the hell? Why are they taking so long? All right, trading post is done. Good. Good. Now, trade you actually have to buy routes to trade stuff. So if we want to sell, is it leather? If we want to sell it. We have to spend thirty-six to buy it. What's the 
export slash import. Only six for leather. That's garbage. Leather worth more than that. Yeah, but we're not going to sell things like meat. It's just too valuable to us at the moment. We have limited like food and stuff, like types of food. Berries are coming back in, yes. Right. I think what we can reduce people down off. They starting to grow the trees back. I think they are, that's good. Um can we got wait for the berries to get heavy. What's that? Disconnected from major retro groups. What? How is it? It's clearly not. Disconnected from major trade groups. That road looks like it's connected to all the trade groups. Or is it because of this road down here, maybe? One sec. We get road out there. Yeah, we're all connected up now. I like how the roads just throw down really quick. Train point. Cheap woods for import export work. Yeah, import less. I actually have to build it on there then. Yeah, I don't think you can move to relocate. It can't relocate. It's fine. Livestock. Trade. Full home transporting. Nothing to transport. Get him off that for now because we've not even got the money to build the um, to buy the uh, thing. By the team. Get some berries foraged. We get more hides and stuff in, which is good. What was that? Oh yeah, spears and shields and stuff, but they're uh, not really surplus. So yeah, we're getting a nice little thing. Supposing more people need homes. So we got how many families do we actually have? We have 18 families and all together we have like quite a few homes. Is that house being built over there still? Yeah, that's on the way. Let's just let the construction finish on what needs to be done. It's taking a while anyway. It's probably the distance to things. Makes sense, it's quite a trek. And this is building as well. The church upgrade will be quite big though. It'll be good for us. People obviously keeping busy. Uh, approvals, taxations, not making them happy, but they're quite happy. Berries, we can make lots out of berries so once this construction's done. Oh, a region's being cleaned. So, the way. Yeah, he's claiming that. Well, we can't really stop him. We resolve the claim on the battlefield with what? We have nothing to resolve with. Our army is pretty, pretty me mediocre. You know, I do like the mana, that's pretty cool. Um. New mercenaries available. We'll start. God, the construction's so pissing slow. Part of French. Uh, they need to explain the construction a little bit more, I think. It'd be useful. I know, obviously, there's something to do with distance stuff, but in the region you're in, it shouldn't take that long, I don't think, personally. Is that church being done? Stocks damaged by weather? What? What stocks? Oh, that. Maybe I've overloaded them with too many orders at once. Maybe that's it. So I won't build or anything. A little bit. Another family's joined, that's what we'll do. Get another one in there. Because they can harvest tons of berries, get us absolute crap tons of food. We can probably start selling a bit of our food as well at the trading depot. Once have the resources to buy trading. Summer's coming soon. Trading place. Soon the beating sun. Summer's coming soon. Summer's coming soon. So they should be working hard. Hardly working. Yeah, small church, right. What does he actually do? Grave digger. Well, we don't need any grave diggers, no one's dead. Fine. Get him on work. Get him working, man. Get him working. Looks like trees are being regrown, which is good. Oh, you camp. I think they're still working pretty hard, yeah. Yeah, we've got loads of timber, planks, a bit shy on some other things. Locks. It's a good industry. Iron slabs, iron slabs craft tools. Well, it was a bad batch. Leather. 
Oh, livestock trading post. Ah, that's if you want livestock. Which we probably do, to be fair. I don't know. It should. Oh, is that? Oh, it's because there's. Oh, the two plots being built. That's fair enough. Sorry, though. Sure. The mining pit, cool. There's not a pit. I shot me over there. Oh, it stopped the damage. Let's get the miners working. They're yeah, working, lad. So, we're doing quite well from the meat stuff. Level 2 or higher, we can do it, but they're not very happy in level 2 because there's no tavern. I think we need to arm up our spear militia as a priority. So again, the next point's going to be difficult until we get a tavern. Very difficult. Um, let's have a look. How much is it we need to sell some of our stuff? Trade. The food, we could sell the meat. Meat sells for two. So we established trade route. If we export, how much meat do we actually have? Alright, so if we make desired surplus now, if we make our surplus, we only need about 80. We'll always be selling meat if it's over 80. Because 80 should be enough. Like, we've got 111. We're doing quite well on meat, and we're only going to be making more, especially as the population starts to increase. And berries, we've got tons of them coming. So that should make us gold, and then we can start getting the. Like, we're getting more leather, so we can then buy the leather trade. So we only have to. Have we got a guy working in there now? We only have to get a guy working in there. Are these plots all been built? I believe so. We've got one guy in construction, but that'll do for now. We're just kind of maxing resources for a little bit. We're maximizing working on the stuff. One sec. I bet there's no clay left to use, is there? No, so might as well turn the clay furnace guy off. Saw pit's fine. Tannery, he's working. Workers camp, they're still going for it. Cool. We need to buy weapons. Oh, we've got 500 influence, so eventually that'll stack up. We'll be able to claim another territory, but we will have to potentially fight some bandits for it. What was that? Light mercenary infantry. Right. So is that from him? That's from the territory. He's claiming we'll be going for that. We'll be taking our lands, don't you worry. They're actually claimed another region, so that'd be quite interesting to do. Only McMolies. Construction, good. So there's plots of done. Hope this all moves in. That person there. Can't we like switch them to another job? Show home. Reassign to a different one. It's uh, not yet, but we can. Once someone moves into that house, we can basically reassign people to certain workplaces. You can get clearly like on it really well. Another army was sighted. Oh, yeah, he's nowhere near us. I don't care. We should be selling some of our resources now, meat and stuff. Should produce us some money. Should be anyway, so we should see some money come in. And what we'll start doing then, burger plots level two or higher. We might as well get two of these, shall we? There are these things you can do with these little upgrades. Shoes, wooden parts and shields. Production of shoes, production of bows, war bows, wow. To artisans locking them from being assigned to other jobs. Oh, right. This is how you make your money. Oh, a lot. I've heard you can make a lot of money from war bows and stuff. So, let's get a few more families set up and we'll start doing that. We'll get these um, upgrades done. And then hopefully we can get our ale and then we can upgrade to level 3 and get another point. I think we're obviously going to have to buy some weaponry soon as well, for sure. 100%. We are, are we mining the steel? I believe we've got some steel. I think it's... Iron ore is getting done slowly. Church is working away, lovely. 
There's upgrades you get in there, on that. Alright, right. So this family here. What's the job? Get them off. People. Yes, I'm done with it. Cool. Right. That wasn't too bad for everyone. So they've been reassigned. Oops, to use it. These are all in. I think we're doing all right. How's the general store? Logging camp. Okay. And who's. So we've got. What are these working on? Constructing land. We've got nothing different kind. Construct a backyard extension. So they can start producing war bows. They can put out new some Ah, production of tools, spears, and silos. I imagine you need from iron, aren't you? Convert someone have it blocking them up. That says from from malt. This just says it produces them. Let's just try this with the war bow. Fletcher's workshop. And also food. Hmm. But this is only cost points. Try that. If it starts producing us decent wealth, and could be useful to us. We started trading some of these, this leather here, and this meat. Why is no one selling? People. Transporting. Press it home. Plants. Trade. Right. So we were trading. I believe we were trading food or not. It's export. Sell until the desired surplus is reached. Desired surplus, 80. Current surplus, so we can sell. For the food stall. So there's obviously a bit of food coming in, that's good. Berries are getting picked to cover plug, the amounts. Food's coming back, with it. Fletcher's workshop, right. So, where, how do you click on people, general? Workshop. Okay. And they, what do they, do they just produce it naturally or? I don't know. I'm not sure how they work. Fletcher's Workshop. Provides living space for family. Fletcher's Workshop. Um, general. Ooh, it seems. What's that? Oh, yeah, share workplace. Cool. Well, hopefully that'll produce us some war bows or whatever. The other one was just to get the one that produces spears and things, but we'll see how that goes. Can you buy ale in? <laughs> so if we can start exporting stuff. Under food. Honey. Commodities. Bring this here. Move that there. Right. On and on. We can get barley. So you can't just buy ale. Buy, buy lots of it. Oh, this is heavier than it looks. But you can buy barley if you need it. You can use that to use it here. General store for no. large granary though. They're yeah, okay for now. Right, I'm getting a bit confused. Oh, they're upgrading these to level two. That's nice. We'll be at that now. Now we need to get the tavern set up and start. In barley, in. Come on. He's working hard or hardly working. We need to get some more animals for logistics. We're getting a bit uh, stuck by it. Get the rocks in. Cool. Not sure they're with logistics quite a bit. Nicely done, nicely done. You know they've got a fairly thriving town. Area deposits. We're getting quite a lot of food in. Why are they actually selling the meat or not? Transporting. Trading. So hopefully they'll start transporting more stuff. The oxen should help them out a bit. Warbows nine. Oh. So he's just producing warbows like straight out of it. Oh, we can sell them then, can't we? Trade. How much are war bows worth? 
oh, export the five. So once you actually get that, we can start producing more of those, will we? Okay. Same finish, lovely. Pantry is full. What? Well, start transporting the goods, you dickhead. Pardon the French. Got she upgrade to a large granary. I think we're going to start struggling otherwise. There we go. We are slowly advancing through this kind of... I think we're getting a bit bogged down. The trading hub seems to be working extremely slow. We actually trading. 14 to 80. I think we are now trading some of it, which is good. We've got tons of leather to trade. Um, keep going, keep going, keep going. Trade around in 22 days, will we? Again, built, lovely. Got a large granary pumped out. God, there's tons of berries there, they're growing like mad. We may just have to spam berry people. Berry peckers, foragers. Keep it going, keep it going, lads. We've got loads of them, why not? That'll get done soon. You'll not find finer ways anywhere. Not found finer ways anywhere else. Anywhere else. We've got enough houses, I think. Don't know if there's anyone in these houses over here. Maybe. No one in that one. That one might actually be a bit of a waste. Uh, more shot one. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to be more family over here. Then that'll be fine. Cool. They seem to be mining the iron ore slowly but steadily. Hmm. Long camp still producing quite a bit of stuff. Timber, got planks, stone, roof tiles, all that clay things pretty useless at the moment. Now. They're dead to us. No more storage full yet, it's timber. Um trade. What are you doing? You're working with transport. You should be trading more stuff. Supposedly you get like bonus to trade. Having it further out, it just seems to take a lot longer to get stuff done. Just a pain in the ass. Yeah, it seemed to work a lot better when I had it closer in my town than the other one I tried. Tools. Uh, what are we actually supposed to be trading? Ooh, we're selling some. Oh. Hollow oh, merchant. Not here. Not here, Darren. No what? Demolish that. Relocate. I'm going to demolish that. Apologies, yes, I know. They just, the trading hub doesn't seem to be working that well there. Go on trade, and we'll get the trading post. Just get it here. Trading post there. Some residential. We've got a few nice plots around here. Don't want to stack them too much next to each other. Um, it'd probably be good to have a few houses around here, maybe. We go, maybe. I think that gives us about five. That gives us six. It's great. Okay, done. Good for good for advancement and growth. God, we're going through the berries. Launching through them. I don't think we get the money back from the trade route, which is a shame. Yeah, Jesus right. Christ, he's pumping out war bows. Christ almighty. We'll be getting them sold off. What do you need for archers, anyway? I need to just... Archer militia, what do you actually need? War bows, soldiers... I don't, I don't want them yet. I want the spear militia. I've heard archers are absolute dog crap at the moment. They've been nerfed. Just a bit of an accident by the mod maker. Or the developer, should I say, but... It's just happened from time to time. Trading depots would be highest, highest priority. And then hopefully we can transport stuff a lot better. A lot quicker when we have it built. There we go. 
We have warbows being pumped out, so I think we'll be selling them. So I'm working in there. Warbows. Need 60 for that one. Then. Should we start with? Oh, come on. Oh, we've still got the trade for meat, so let's say we only need 75 meat, let's start pumping that trade out, hopefully. We'll start selling a lot more. Oh. Disconnected from the major trade routes, really? Really? You serious? I fixed it. No? That's fixed it. <laughs> Is it connected now? There we go. Should be signing some stuff now, hopefully. Hopefully, hopefully. hopefully. Seems a bit more common sense to have it there anyway. We'll slowly be building those plots as we do it. Requirements not met. Food. Food supply store. I'm not being funny. The food and everything's right there in front of you, dude. Don't be bloody lazy. There we go. We just sold some meat, hey, I think. We did. So, oh, tell you what we can do. Warbows. Warbows. Sell. Export. Don't need any. We'll just keep selling them. Here comes the money. Here comes the money. Here comes the money, mother. Beep. Right. Money's going to start pouring in now. Got tons of berries aren't coming. It's great. What we'll do is now we've got the warbows being sold. We won't sell as much meat. We'll keep our stockpile at 80 just in case. Hopefully, we'll be selling lots of warbows soon. Construction pounding in stuff. Then we're gonna start. There we go. Oh, boom! Sold. Ah, oh, boom! Selling tons of stuff. Love it. Just gotta wait for those warbows to get sold, and we'll make a lot of moolah. I think a lot, a lot of moolah. There we go. More up. So now there's more transport. <laughs> now we're cooking with gas, everyone. Now we're cooking with gas. Now we're doing all right. We actually seem to have cracked something. We cracked the code, guys. We cracked the code. Awesome. Very awesome. Yep. Right. So we're not making much for the clay. What we do need? What's the thing to produce ale? Um, I think it's on industrial. Are they to produce malt? Right. And on logistics. Residential means ale to function. How do you produce ale? Malt. Because malt is, I think, what they use to make ale. I'm pretty sure. Well, we're gonna we're gonna build this anyway. It's quite industrial. I like it. You ready to sneak it in there? Oh, yeah. I'll make my town quite compact, I guess. And we'll start importing barley. You see. So they can start working on it. People are moving in, that's good. The requirements met. We could set up another market stall. Oh my god, look at the money pounding in now. Warbones. They're not actually sold in yet. Trade, you can sell those warbones, lads. And export desired surplus to zero. Have we sold up some of the meat? We have. That's good. And we've got berries pounding in like mad. Love it. Here comes the monies. Here comes. Actually, you know what we're going to do? Um, take the taxes off. Don't need them. Because we're making so much from trade. That's good. We'll focus on trade. No warboat. I think one warboat has been sold so far. We need to get some level threes. Yeah, I'll have to upgrade a few more to level two as well. we get them, get them produced. Everyone's quite close to the market, hopefully we'll be closer. We're doing okay, I think we're doing quite good. New family's moving in, lovely. So we've got more properties. Let's explore this part of the industry. 
There we go, things get produced. Got tons of planks coming in. We still got iron hob in mind yet, yeah, slowly but surely. What do these artisans produce if you buy them? So he makes enables production of wooden parts, shields, enables production of shoes, produces ale from malt. Oh, you sweet son of a bitch. I love you. So that's what we need. So once we start producing the malt, we can have him as an artisan to produce for the tavern. And then we can upgrade. Holy mother beep. We can... Yep, yeah, we're cracking it. We're really cooking with some serious gas now. Awesome. So we'll be able to get to the next stage of our town. And we're also going to get tons of money coming in. We've got quite a lot of money coming in anyway, which is really good. Come on. There we go, right. So, we're going to have to trade. We're going to need... It's barley, I believe, we need. Barley. Right. I would like to buy a trade route. Import. Oh my god, it's 12 each. Right. So, let's make a surplus of 20. Because we're always going to need to be importing some. We're actually selling our boats. We are now. Oh, crap, we're selling quite a few. Right. So, it's going to be expensive to import it. Very expensive. But we'll make that surplus... Actually, one sec. Just for now, let's make the surplus for barley. Just make it 10, because it is going to be pricey as hell. And hopefully, we'll get some barley in. Yeah, there we go, there's the barley. We have the barley right. Did cut into our money quite a bit, though. There we go, keep going, keep going, keep going. Come on, we've got tons of food anyway. Tons of berries. So they will be producing that, and then we can put him on. <coughs> is it ale? Oh, they can make hides, eggs, all sorts of cool stuff. Um, no, him. Ale from malt. This will produce malt from barley. Awesome. Right, and once that's done, what we'll do? These need we're we'll gonna upgrade a few of these. We're we'll gonna upgrade some of those houses to level threes, aren't we? And these up they still be upgraded to level threes, these houses and houses. Yes. And adds living space for one extra family, two families for plots. And two families families for plots with really split extension. Oh, I'm confused. But there we go. So let's see are they producing? Do we have barley? Do we have malt? We have malt! Huzzah! Trade. We'll look on that. Crop. So we're going to be constantly buying that. We're constantly selling stuff, so hopefully it balances out quite nicely. Not cheap, though. It's for these barley, is it? No. Brewery. Right, so you can make ale. Uh, now we need to build a tavern. Once we've got those upgrades done, we'll build the tavern. And we'll see if ale appears. Where would ale appear? Don't forget to check the level of the foundation. Levels of the foundation. Where would ale be? Ale. We'll see if we get any ale produced. Oh, we've gone through our barley already. So that was how much malt we have? Four malt. Hmm, doesn't last. Oh, is there some malt in there? So it doesn't produce too much more, but produces enough for now. Can't spend all the money on barley. Don't kill us. And they're getting pumped out. Where's my ale? Yeah, we've got ale! Right. Now we can build a tavern. God, this is awesome. It's freaking peak medieval tavern style, baby. The tavern. The tavern! We hit, can we sneak a tavern with it? I think the tavern needs to be more central because everyone needs to get hammered. There we go. Tavern is on his way. I'm the tavern side of it. Oh, we're getting closer. We're getting closer for sure. Well, yeah, we are buying barley. That is cutting into our money quite substantially. Why are you not selling the warbows? Train. Sell the goddamn warbows, lad. 
Not pumping them out. Get them sold. Well, I can't sell the berries at the moment either. That's a pain in the ass. Because we could probably do with selling quite a few of those berries. We've got a massive stockpile. There we go. I think I said we sold war bows. Yeah, sold a nice chunk. Double it. And I missed poor barley. The malt house is making us poor, isn't it? Just put it on five because otherwise we are going to get skimped. <laughs> going to get really poor. They've got quite a bit of ale coming in at least. And as we get more people in, we can get more artisans and stuff, which will be good. <coughs> Twenty two families now, so we've got people working the bums off. Working the little backsides off. Which is good. They're still getting hides of meat from that, good. Good stuff. So it looks like we're back in productive mode. We've got the tavern built. Get it manned. Yeah, those level twos are doing quite nicely. They also need food supply stores to get to the next level. <coughs> Three types of food, ugh. So we might struggle, but at least having the tavern will give us a boost, to just in general. Got quite a bit of ale coming, actually. Having more artisans might be the way to do it. If we go for... Enables production of tools, spears and sidearms. Converts all of them to artisans. Yeah, make it a blacksmith. I think that's a good idea. <coughs> we can always take some people off other jobs. Because having spears would be good so we can actually have um, people producing. Can you actually choose what he's building? Or does he just produce it at random? Maybe at random. Tavern! Hey! <coughs> having supply needs to be ample, and clothing supply, cloaks, shoes, and different types of food. So artisans might be the way to do that. <coughs> Blacksmith. And hopefully we'll start producing spears and random crap. How much ale we got? Yeah, yeah there's a fair bit coming. So it's good. Artisans is going to be a way forward, so we just need to keep getting people moving in to the buildings as much as possible. We may have to stack some more. Arzen seems like the way to go. It's the way to go, lad. And we could actually just keep upgrading. What does, does level two get you tax as well? Poor quality, yeah. he said. Impossible. It does increase the needs, but poor quality, he said. Impossible. These are level two. Get more level two. Then we actually get some regional regional rank from them as well. Might as well do that while we're waiting. We've got some sales coming out. I think the, the barley is hitting us quite hard though. The costs yeah, is it's completely reducing our wealth. It's another. I don't know if we can all grow our own. They can claim the region, I don't care. What's that? Treasury of personal money, including taxes. That's quite useful. What's the taxation? They're never actually taxing people. Oh no. Not near us, we don't really care. You see the total thing. Not what the blacksmith's actually producing. Don't be shy, good sirs and ladies. Oh, producing out, I don't know. I do not know. Oh my god, my money's just literally plummeted. So the barley might be a bit too expensive for us to be buying at the moment. Just um, stop with the barley. Too expensive for now. Need to build up our wealth. Let's get some taxation. Sorry, everyone. 10%. You'll go over it. You'll go over it. Jesus, it didn't cheat. Not easy being cheesy. Nice bit of money. Yeah. The warbow guy needs to start producing more warbows. Oh, do we need planks for it? I bet we do. I bet we're going through the planks too much. 
Yeah, there must be one coming. You need to maybe start, start getting more people in then. You did spend a lot of planks though. Maybe that's it, that's limiting it. The war bows. Maybe the blacksmith does need iron. That makes sense. It just doesn't tell you what you're actually using to produce it. Production focus. Ah, you see. It does cost them. Iron slab and planks, right? All oh, right. So you can switch production focus and stuff. But it doesn't tell you. No, it should tell you how much it costs to make those things. So we need planks. Crap. I'm an idiot. All right. I understand that. one's a lot bit better now. Um. Get those burger plots upgraded. Are they producing? Well, they've got loads of wood. We just need to get the planks being produced just at a high speed. So we get some wealth coming in now. People want more stuff with it, but is what it is. So we'll keep the taxation down because it's just gonna upset people. Some berries of meat by the shed load. Some berries. Definitely more planks. We have iron ore. We do actually have some. Yeah, we have iron ore, but we need to make iron slabs if we want to make the blacksmith. That's a pain. Can we get rid of the blacksmith? Doesn't really suit us that much. No, you can't, Christ, that's better. Okay, that's a shame. Never mind, we can make use of it in the long term. Right, so I think all those construction upgrades are done. See what we do that. Alright, food, food and wood, it'll, it'll come, don't worry. we will get it. Nice. New planks, and lots of them. if they'll start producing more planks so they can build more war bows. Start stacking them on it. Should have some planks. Can't all be going to the war bow guy. Are they actually producing planks? Seems like there's no planks coming. Right. Why are you not used? Why is the planks not being moved? This is weird. Why the planks not being used? Go off. Go on. Going home, waiting. Yeah, there must be must be planks available. Be wrenching a tree. Nah, nah, they're building planks. Maybe they were just busy with it, the amount of upgrades. That probably makes sense. I wish they not making things like that now. Then we'll store for there. For yourself. I'm kind of getting that we shouldn't overload things with too much stuff. A bit of, bit of wealth coming in. We could sell berries. We have quite a lot of them. Trade. We're still selling the meat. Yeah. Uh, food. Establish trade route. Export. We only want our surplus to be 200 anyway. Yep. See if we can get them sold. War bows being produced again, good. And then with the wealth, we can buy. Well, we can probably buy our own. What does blacksmith need to produce there? It needs iron slab and planks. Well, we can probably buy the iron slabs ourselves. Just buy some iron off them. And then just stop the surplus. I don't think we've got any ale left, have we? No, yeah, we've got some ale, actually. People aren't drinking that much, which is good. Just can't really afford to keep buying it at the rate that we were. Got no barley left. Pantry is full, really? Oh yeah, they'll start bringing the berries back. We're now entering the, the lesser months, so we can bring some of these back anyway. Um, so we need to get different types of... To get to level 3, we need different types of food and clothing. So that will come from artisans, so we need to probably build more houses. Just to get more families in, which is a bit of a pain in the ass. But they're all in the houses anyway. So we have to start expanding further outwards, maybe. Don't want to hit where the animals are. Um, we could put a couple of houses here, maybe. Well, that'd be weird to have it like that. No. 
Put it, put it like that. Just sneaking in there, right? Bit of a fire hazard, but never mind. It'll work. And yeah, I think oh, pre-rolls. Taxation, I don't like. Church level though, keeps them happy. Good stuff. Hmm. And they are getting more bows produced quite nicely again. Planks are coming in, timbers coming in, good stuff. You have some ales still getting drunk though. Got tons of leather. Can we start selling the leather still? I don't think I ever established our trade route, did I? And moron. Yes, you are, Sir Jeremy. 180 to sell leather. Holy schnitzel. Where did all the money just get? Did we import something? We're not, we're not still buying it, are we? No. We're exporting meat and that. Slowly. We're not importing anything there. <clears throat> okay. Here we go. Jesus. So yeah, I'm getting to grips with the game a little bit more now. It is got some complexity to it, for sure. It is tough when you <coughs> work on industry, so we're going to have to buy most things in the trade. You do need to start pumping wealth out, though, as much as you can. Warbow seems a bit powerful with the planks, which I like. Kind of need it, though. You'll say, oh, you're making money glitch. I won't say it's a money glitch, because if you don't have the money, you're not going to be able to survive. So they're now getting more stuff built and stuff. How many families do we have? We have 22 families in space, 27, that's good. We need to keep up the housing, for sure. Um, just not selling a lot of stuff at the moment. These are working. Uh, what we'll do is we'll get another one in, maybe we'll sell a bit quicker. Hopefully. And whilst they're waiting, we'll build some more blocks. <laughs> just trying to get families into the houses for winter. Oh, we can it curve. Oh, that's cool. I like the curved houses. Yes. I like the curves. Curves are cool. Wish I wouldn't eat it. <laughs> well, I think we'll leave that episode there. Obviously, we've learnt quite a bit. Obviously, getting the trade hub and stuff built up is a massive win. We're doing alright. We're making some wealth now. Hopefully, the idea will be to get the blacksmith producing wherever it is. Get him the stuff he needs to produce spears, and then also we, get, we can probably buy some shields or something in just because our, our obviously militia is nowhere near ready yet. Still need spears and shields to make a proper militia, and obviously get ourselves up to the next stage would be good, level three. But we need to have different types of food as well, so we might have to get some livestock or start importing some other foods as well. <laughs> That's the same thing I can think anyway. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the series. I've enjoyed bringing it to you. It's super duper fun. Super deep football turn, terrible turn. It's, it's absolutely been really enjoying it. It's tough. I'm a little bit hungover, so this has been a good wake up. Anyway, thanks for watching, everyone, and you guys have a fantastic weekend.